In today's show, we have a stand up with Ali, Color Chaos, and the new art project. I'm Madison. And I'm Savannah. Madison, have you been seeing some of the new artwork around the school lately? Lately, I haven't. Well, good thing we did a story on it. One of Art's first projects this semester had some English in it as well. One of our first projects this year in our advanced studio AP class was the students uh, wrote a haiku poem uh, based on one of their one of the highlights from their summer and uh, they handed those in and then we kind of randomly redistributed them and then each student was required to create an illustration based on one of their peers haiku poems. Students wrote poems about how their summer went. So uh, yeah basically we just did this poem and then traded, and then we um, we made artwork based on it. And basically, mine is just Rick in a boat in water, because uh, the person whose poem I got was like yeah, something about the summer and boating. Uh, my poem was about getting no sleep, the sloth. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> I thought my piece represented my haiku because. But it talks about how they're traveling up north, so I have a compass that points north, and I have northern lights. And they went to the beach, and it talks about how nice it was, and I just thought that that would look kind of nice. That's how I would want to spend my summer. It was a good opportunity, I think, just to, to try to work in a cross-curricular project uh, that required writing and then, you know, interpreting writing. Uh, I have a good friend uh, who's a professor at Washburn, English professor, and him and I have talked uh, recently quite a bit about just the ideas of combining art making with writing and and uh, I think that that was probably definitely something that inspired it too. Students seem to have fun with this project and even got to work together to make something special. Well I'm surprised you didn't notice now <laughs> on with your daily news. Students make sure to park in your right parking stall and if you've not purchased a stall go see Officer McKay in the security office. Juniors and seniors, the Topeka College and Career Fair is this Wednesday. See Schoology or your counselors for more information. International Thespian Society is hosting a fundraiser. Ali went and found more information about it. Hey Vikes, I'm here with Mia to talk about the fundraiser the International Thespian Society is putting on. So what is it? All right, theater is putting on Trick or Treat So Kids Can Eat, and it's a competition between all of our seminars of who can bring the most canned food or box pantry items. How long will this last? It goes through the month of October. Okay, and what does the winning seminar get? The winning seminar gets an ice cream party. Okay, if you want that ice cream party, make sure and bring canned food to your seminar. Now back to your anchors. Awesome, make sure to go out and support. If you're interested in taking ACT prep classes, visit the office for registration by October 18th. Theater and FFA will host a haunted trail on October 23rd on the fitness trails. Now over to sports with Savannah. Oh, hi. What am I doing? Oh, I'm practicing for the water walk on... Saturday, October 12th from 4.30 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the Seaman High School football field and stadium. All proceeds go to Thirst Project. Can't wait to see you there. Spirit Club will be sponsoring a spirit bus to the Junction City game October 18th. Cost is $6. Make sure to fill out a permission slip. Soccer had their first loss against Mill Valley last night. They are traveling to Emporia this Thursday. Congrats to Lois Dieter for placing second in the Manhattan Tournament yesterday in golf. Make sure to wish the team luck for Regionals Monday. Last Friday night, we had a game... We had last Friday night's game was Color Chaos. We went to learn more. <laughs> Before Friday's football game versus Topeka High, students do color pattern at each other for the theme of the football game, which is color chaos. Color chaos is sort of like a color run. We have powdered uh, color that people can buy per bag, and then at a certain point, people throw the bags at each other. The point is to get as colorful as possible, and that then becomes the theme for the football game, color chaos. This year, the money is going to the Thirst Project, um, which is the project that basically the entire school is spo sponsoring. Our leadership class is in charge of this project, and we planned ahead of time, thought about when it was going to happen, and we're the ones who ordered the packets, packaged them because they were in giant bags ahead of time, and got them all ready for a sell. 
sales. Here are some single thoughts of Color Chaos and why they enjoyed Color Chaos. Yeah. It was fun and there was color. Very much so. <laughs> Um, I'm kind of disappointed at how few people there was, and other than that, it was actually really fun. Hopefully next year it won't be so cold. Let's head over to weather with Madison. Today the weather is 73 and it's supposed to, later today it's supposed to stay in the high 60s <coughs> high 60s and uh, low 70s and then later today on Wednesday it's supposed to be 67 Thursday 73 and Friday 49 now back over to your anchors have a great day bikes <laughs>